little bit quiet because there's some people downstairs. But I'm really delighted that you're here and um, just know at the end we'll have some time for some questions. And I wanted to also welcome Janine Gaudreau, who is a teammate and friend up in the Boston area, and she will be sharing her Shred 10 story at the end of our presentation. So we'll go ahead and get started. So the Shred 10 is really um, is a program that has gotten a lot of energy and has gained a ton of momentum. I think in the month of January, they had over 1,200 people participating in the Shred. And it's really, um, it's not a weight loss program. It's really um, a program that is designed to shred and let go of bad habits and to add good habits. And also it's a jumpstart program that can really transition into a healthier lifestyle. There are two startling trends in our world. Um, we are inundated with toxins and we are inundated with chemicals. Um, we're bumpy, bombarded with um, all of these toxins which are leading to a lot of health problems. Um, and toxins are everywhere. Um, if you just think about the morning when you wake up, um, we're putting chemicals on our body. Um, we are, there are chemicals being used um, to clean our houses. Um, and that's really before we've even left our homes. Um, and then pollution in the air and in the water. Um, and so we're really, um, we are struggling with our health as a result. So if you look at just this graphic here, we're looking at, um, you know, kind of transportation, um, combustion, industrial chemicals, um, underwater, our soil is not nearly as clean as it used to be as a result of a lot of runoff from toxins. What we know too is that there are also, uh, our food quality is decreasing. Um, if you notice uh, this aisle here, um, they sometimes tell you to shop the perimeter of the grocery store. This is not, this is one of the middle aisles. And these are the aisles where we find the preservatives and the flavor enhancers, um, the GMOs, growth hormones, artificial colors, trans fats, pesticides, and the food that really is not particularly nutritious. Um, often, you just take a look at a label on a jar or on a can or on a box. Um, there are a lot of ingredients that we can't even use the names for. So one of the things that is important to know about the Shred 10 is this idea of it's, uh, we have a need to detox and get rid of some of these toxins in our body and rejuvenate. And that's really what the Shred 10 is about. And we want to try to maintain a healthier weight as we age. That's a little bit harder to do. Um, and excess fat contributes to over 20 different diseases that we have. So our bodies can't handle all the toxins that I was talking about in the beginning. And what happens is that our organs um, trap the toxins in fat and our fat cells. Um, and then it's hard for our body to burn them off. And if you look at this graphic here, um, stored fat and robes the toxins and protects our organs and diet and exercise without nutrition, proper nutrition stresses our body and burning fat, exposing those organs to toxins actually makes us feel worse. And then we have a rebound effect and this can cause, this can cause an increase in fat retention and fat production. Mm -hmm. So there's good news though, because what happens um, through the shred is that the safe and healthy way to lose weight is to allow our body to cleanse itself by removing the toxic load and adding clean eating, um, often in the form of fruits and vegetables. And then you're shedding your fat and you're assisting your liver so it can do its job and it can cleanse the toxins. Weight loss becomes easier, quicker, and can often lead to more permanent weight loss. And so this picture, shedding the fat is the result of reduced toxicity, how do, we, how do we reduce toxicity? We take some of the things away that I'm going to talk about in a minute, things that build up. And then better all health, um, overall health, less fat and more muscle. You don't have that rebound effect that we had in the beginning. So the power of whole food, plant power. Uh, we should all, if you hold up your fist, we should all be getting between 9 and 13 servings. My fist or your fist is one serving. 9 to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm really, I have trouble getting close to that. I don't spend my whole day in the kitchen. Um, and despite my best efforts, it's really hard to keep all of those fresh fruits and vegetables in the house. Um, and this is where Juice Plus comes in. So Juice Plus is meant to help us bridge a gap. It's not a replacement for food. It's an add to. 
And so if you see all of the pictures of fruits and vegetables in this picture here, um, when you take Juice Plus, the capsules or the chewables, you're flooding your body with 45 different fruits, vegetables, and berries every day. And it's plant powder, so powdered produce in a capsule. It has a food label, so they basically pick everything. They pick all of these fruits and vegetables at the peak of ripeness. They press them, dehydrate them, and put the plant powders into an efficient capsule. So one of the things is that willpower, um, I used to think that willpower is one of those things that some of us had and some of us don't. And I would say I'm not particularly um, great on the willpower uh, <laughs> when it comes to willpower, at least when it comes to snacking. Um, and what happens is we actually have a zone of willpower here in the middle. And when we can keep our glycemic index and our glycemic load steady, um, it really helps us to spike from eating the foods that spike our blood sugar. So let's take chips, for example. You could think for a moment, are you a salt craver, a sugar craver? Do you like the real fatty food? Well, every time we ingest and put that body into uh, that food into our body, it makes our blood glucose level go crazy. It makes us want to eat more, um, which is for my, I'm a chip eater. I have trouble getting out of the bag once I start. Um, it's not just me and that I can't stop. It's actually sending messages to our brain um, and our glycemic load is just off the charts. So as we know, sugar should enter our bloodstream slowly and give us sustained energy over time, um, or the complex carbs, carbs. Um, but sugar can rush in and it can spike our sugar levels and that's when we really find ourselves going back to the kitchen or going back for one more serving of something. And when we skip a meal, um, we can often feel this um, or first thing in the morning when we wake up and we're really hungry and we just decide to eat and eat and eat. So this dark blue line in the middle here shows us what happens when we eat a low glycemic food meal um, with, fi with fiber. And so that any of the sugar that enters into our bloodstream slowly, um, which an example of this is our Juice Plus Complete Shake. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But when it goes in slowly, it stabilizes our blood sugar and makes us makes it a little bit easier to avoid some of those cravings and food addictions. And this is the zone of willpower. And this is really um, the shakes, adding the shakes to our diet is uh, an important part of, um, sorry, an important part of the Shred 10. So the complete shakes come in chocolate and vanilla. They are, have a low glycemic load, which stabilizes our blood sugar. They're vegan and non-GMO. They're gluten and dairy free. They're plant-based protein and they have a powerful prebiotic fiber and oligosaccharides. And one of the things that I love about the shakes, we've really started to implement shakes for breakfast in the morning. And so everybody has a shake in the morning and we're a chocolate household for predominantly, but in our shake, I put a shake, my favorite shake is a banana. I put a handful of spinach or kale. I put some, uh, let's see, um, some chia seeds. I put some almond butter and I use almond milk and a few ice cubes and usually a handful of blueberries. And what we notice is that that stays with us a lot longer than some of those simple carbohydrates like bagels and toast and things that really just don't stick with us. So the Juice Plus Complete Shakes um, can be a healthy breakfast. Uh, this picture always kind of cracks me up. We got Muscle Guy, I was looking for another picture today, but I did not, was not successful. Um, a really good pre or post workout snack um, can sometimes help to uh, reduce some of the soreness and inflammation that we get as a result of working out. And um, my son, I have a 17-year-old who's hungry all the time, and he often comes home from school and makes a shake or makes a big shake um, late in the afternoon. So the shred um, is, again, not a weight loss program, but we're shredding food and toxins and habits that aren't serving us and trying to adopt healthier ones. And here are some of the guidelines. So there's a couple phases of the shred. In phase one, we're going to add the following things. We're going to add more plant foods um, and juice plus capsules daily. We're going to try to have two complete shakes a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Drink plenty of water. <laughs> Take 10 deep breaths and get seven to eight hours of sleep daily. Sleep is really important. And we're going to try to exercise most days. And here are the things we're going to try to eliminate. We're going to try to eliminate caffeine and alcohol. 
trying to give up eating after six o'clock. That can be hard for people when they're working, but do your best. And really the reason for that is that we want to try to give ourselves 12 or 13 hours where our body is just not putting, we're not putting any food into our body. And it really is a good time for our body to rest and rejuvenate and also to start eliminating those toxins. We're gonna to try to eliminate processed food, gluten and dairy and artificial and refined sugars. Now that's a pretty big list. And for some people that list can feel pretty overwhelming, but there are ways, um, caffeine for example, if we have a shred that's coming up starting February 11th, you could the week before start to just slowly decrease your caffeine intake. And by the time you start your shred, um, and Mitra Ray, who's a doctor I'll refer to, um, she is kind of the one of the brains behind the Shred 10. She says that you can drink some tea, um, maybe black tea one day, go down to green tea. And then there are also some um, kind of caffeine replacement drinks that some people really like um, that help to eliminate some of the headaches that you might get. Now, phase two of the shred is after the 10-day period, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this, but it's important to know that when you do the shred, and you'll hear this from Janine a little bit, your body really feels amazing. Not necessarily in the first few days, but normally by day four or five, you have noticed the things. Your body just feels better as a result of what you eliminated. So afterwards, what a lot of people are doing is they're sticking with some of these things. They're continuing to add more plant food. They're continuing to take the capsules every day. They might not have two shakes, but maybe they will. They're continuing to have water and do the deep breathing and uh, sleeping and trying to exercise. Um, I've noticed in my own experience with the Shred 10, when I give up gluten and I give up dairy, I just feel better. I really like cheese and I really like bread, but when I don't eat it, I notice that I'm not craving a lot of that stuff anymore. So one of the things that we know about Juice Plus is that it's the most published, most researched nutritional product in the world. We have, this slide is actually a little bit old. We now have over, we now have over 38 published studies um, from uh, really esteemed universities around the world. And so we know that in, in our nutritional supplement um, world of vitamins and supplements, there isn't a lot of research to back um, what's in those um, kind of often fragmented vitamins and supplements. And again, what we know about Juice Plus is that it's food, it has a food label, and we also know that it's clean. Every batch of Juice Plus is tested for herbicides, pesticides, contaminants, and metal. And so we are getting clean food um, into our bodies when we're taking Juice Plus. So this is a picture of what kind of comes when if you should you decide you want to join um, the Shred 10 with a group, you would um, sign up with the person who got you onto the call. Um, you would take the capsules or um, the chewables. We have an amazing children's health study, um, which is the largest populated health study in the world, over a million and a half, I think at this point, children and might even be closer to two have participated. So if an adult purchases the product, child up through the through college age can receive the product for free for up to four years and what you're doing in exchange for signing up for that program is filling out a survey to just um, let juice plus know what your child is noticing are they going to school more regularly are they having fewer sick days um, and other things such as that you'll see the bags of the juice plus complete the chocolate and vanilla we also have a huge Facebook group with every Shred 10 that we do. This is kind of building in some accountability. You can, if you're not on Facebook, um, oftentimes people that um, your person, the person that got you on the call might do a small text group to check in with you, see how people are feeling across the 10 days. But the Facebook group is amazing. You can hop on and get recipes. People post tons of pictures. They're checking in. It's a really good way to just generate. There's been a lot of enthusiasm, and I think it's one of the reasons um, people feel good about doing the program because they have a buddy or a group of buddies that they can join. We also send, um, a, uh, also found on that Facebook page, is a cooking guide and a shred guide, which gives you all the information you need to know about how and what to give up. There's a shopping list. There's a wonderful chart that you can chart um, all the things that you're eliminating and, and after each day you can check those things off. I did great on sleep today, I got plenty of exercise today, I stayed well hydrated, I didn't have caffeine, I didn't have any alcohol. And so there really are plenty of tools uh, to help you be successful with the shred. 
Um, so the shred um, is starting, this particular shred is starting February 11th through the 21st. I love this picture because of all the whole foods in it. Um, the one thing I'd like to say before